All right, Aquarius, chill out, chill out, just relax. <laughs> I think some of you are like feeling like time is running out. It's almost like you're waiting for something to happen before you can make any choices or act on anything. But, you know, you're being asked here to kind of go deeper within, stop overthinking things, tap into your emotions and find the answers that you're looking for within rather than waiting for something to happen without. Right. So from Wisdom of the Oracle, TikTok, and then the Swan Queen from Hidden Realms, transformation, intuition and patience. And this did show up as an ally. Now, TikTok. This is talking about how when we created time, we started seeing things in a linear way, that the past is behind us, that the future is ahead. But then it poses the question, well, what if everything is happening all at once? It says you have all the time in the world to co-create the life you desire. So release your agenda. Let go of your need to shape each moment to your expectations, knowing that what is yours will never be withheld from you. Miracles are here right now and always show up when you need them right on time. And I think it's funny that the both of them point out issues with time. So the Swan Queen, and again, it's saying don't look outside yourself for answers now. The true power lies reflected in the still waters within you. So needing to go a little bit deeper here and meditate and ask for a vision. It talks about the power of psychic perception being inherent in you. And again, needing to go deeper to find the answers that you seek. But here's the kicker. The very last thing it says, this is also a reminder to allow time, to allow time to transform ideas into reality. Nothing happens overnight. All right, Aquarius, here's your overall. The Four of Pentacles. You know, nothing really changes <laughs> with the Four of Pentacles. You know, but then at the same time, if you're not willing to give anything to, you know, what you're wanting to have happen here, nothing is going to happen. Nothing's going to change. The Four of Pentacles. One of the things that I talk about with this is this is about maintaining the stability that you have gained, right? Not wanting to lose that stability, wanting to maintain things the way that they are, but then also not wanting to give any more to something, Right. But then it can also suggest that you're holding on to something a little bit too tightly. But, you know, there to me, there's always a reason why this ends up being the overall, you know. But like I said, a lot of it is going to be because we need to maintain things the way that they are. But if you continue to do that, then, you know, time is going to run out. Right. And you don't need something to happen without before you can start making choices. You know, it, it almost has the feeling of. What am I going to lose if I do something different? Now, in the past, the Eight of Wands. So, you know, it, the way that I see this is beyond communication. You know, like I've always said, when I look at the Eight of Wands, I see, you know, the Wands parallel and going in, you know, this flight into like the perfect spot. So like everything just falling right into place, right? But this is by your action. So it's like you getting everything lined up, getting everything right perfectly into place here and not wanting anything to change with the Four of Pentacles. Now, you know, this could be about some communication that's going on between you and another person here, you know, but things happening quickly, though, too, with the Eight of Wands. Fast movement, fast action, you know, but then... Right. Like one of the things that I talk about with this, though, too, is when the eight of wands shows up, it could suggest that, you know, sometimes we feel like we have to act. We're forced to act in the moment or else something is going to pass us by. Right. Which could be another possibility here. And the present, the knight of wands. Now, and we'll see. The Knight of Wands being in the present moment, you know, the problem is, is that that's like looking at it in the reverse with the Four of Pentacles, because if you're not wanting anything to change, then, you know, the Knight of Wands is not happening because this is acting like immediate acting on a passion, on a new idea, but not really worried about what's going to happen later. But with the Four of Pentacles, yeah, you are worried about what's going to happen later. You know, I need to maintain things the way that they are. You know, but are you releasing that though and acting on something because it's coming in quick here with the Eight of Wands? You know, but I still feel like with that being the past energy, you lined everything up the way you needed it to be. You know, now as a person, 
you know, I love the Knight of Wands, I do, but he's like a fucking hurricane. It comes in and then he's gone, right? But we'll see. <sighs> Future conditions, the King of Cups. Now, let me just say that in terms of you with the Swan Queen. <laughs> yeah, you know, it, it is going to be opening up to, you know, your more emotional side, right? But I get the feeling that for some of you, you're, you're going to be dealing with a person here. Male, female, water, doesn't matter to me. But this would suggest that, you know, where somebody may have been withholding from you with the Four of Pentacles being the overall, they may be opening up now. But, you know, given actions in the present moment, you may not be willing to be as open as the other person, you know. But then again, right, emotional distance. I see that with him more than I do the Queen of Cups. And here, you know, you're being asked to tap into your emotions a little bit more. But damn, man, what the hell? <laughs> you know, the Knight of Wands above the King of Cups? Yeah. I don't know, that's, that's difficult for me. Because if that were the case, then I would expect to see like the King of Wands or like even the King of Swords. You know, I don't really see the King of Cups as somebody being in and out, but absolutely some of you may be dealing with somebody that's like that, especially when it comes to whether or not they're available to you on an emotional level. Oh, your best path to follow justice, man. All right. So, you know, and again, if you feel like something needs to happen before you can make a choice here, right? Nothing's going to happen. Like nothing's going to change. The, the four of pentacles being the overall, because I'm going back to the oracle cards and I'm thinking tick tock, let's go, let's go. And it could be that you're waiting on a person here before you actually make a choice. When you look at justice, this is weighing out the options and making the final choice. This is like dotting the I's and crossing the T's here, you know, but then needing to make sure that what you choose to do here is going to be fair. Not just for you, but for everybody, right? But then this could be, you know, you seeking fairness and balance. But if you're not willing to change, then you can't expect that, right? But like I said, it could be that, you know, this is somebody who is starting to open up. But they may be in and out as far as that goes, you know? And then my advice, though, with justice is, you know, don't be the sword of justice. Don't go seeking this right? Like, I feel like I need to tell some of you to just be careful. You know, don't, don't go looking for this, right? Like, let karma do its thing here, you know, but make sure that what you're doing is fair for you. You know, there's a reason why that Four of Pentacles is there. Why should you give if somebody else is going to be flaky with you? You know, and that's kind of what I feel like looking at this. And what I worry about here is because I'm looking at him and I'm looking at the Eight of Wands and thinking, you know, at one point you may have felt like everything was lining up with this person, but then what the hell? Then it becomes an in and out situation. You know, there's like this feeling of not wanting to give, holding on, you know, but then here they are again, you know, in your environment, the Ace of Swords. Now, this to me is like... Especially with the Eight of Wands, you know, I, I feel both. I feel like it has to do with communication that made you feel like things were lining up and that you did what you needed to to get things lined up in the right direction, not wanting to have anything change. But with the Ace of Swords, the communication is going to be about the truth, right? That truth, that clarity, the epiphany, the aha, right? But with the Knight of Wands being attached to that, I feel like, you know, this is somebody who is like in and out on the truth, which is why, you know, I feel like I need to tell you not to be the sword of justice here. You know, there to me it feels like there needs to be a little bit more clarity with communication, especially with somebody who is not consistent, you know, but the Ace of Swords in your environment, it's almost like, you know, you know, you see it, you see what the truth is. And that may be why you're still like carrying the four of pentacles. Like, all right, you know, fine. We'll just maintain things the way that they are. But then again, you know, if you're wanting things to change and to be fair and balanced, you know, you're going to have to give something here. But then at the same time, it's like, no, because if the other person isn't, then why should you, you know? 
Wow, Aquarius, the hell is going on? Oh, shit. All right, your hopes and your fears, the Eight of Swords. And, you know, this, this is what I'm talking about here. And the fear there, and again, right, there's definitely the stuck energy with the Four of Pentacles being the overall, but it's not just you. It's because of another person. I do think that, you know, at one point in the past, though, too, with the Eight of Wands, you know, you're ready. It's like you're ready to get things going in the right direction. But because of this person and the way that they're acting, I feel like is the reason why things are not moving forward. And there's like this, I don't want to say greedy. I want to say, you know, like purposely withholding yourself from this person because of their actions. But you knew this though. You knew this about them with the Ace of Swords being there. But again, the fear is, is that nothing is going to move forward. They're not going to move forward. You can't. I mean, you're stuck, you know. And then the, the other problem with that, though, is you're stuck with this person in this situation because you're still waiting for something to happen on the outside when you need to start doing, you know, your own personal transformation, right? Damn, man. You know, I kind of like him, but I don't. Like, what the hell, dude? You know, like, just make up your mind. You know, again, male or female, doesn't matter to me here, but whoever you're dealing with, what the hell? You know, but again, like I said, you knew. And then coming out, the Ace of Cups, yeah? Nobody's doing anything to go after it, though, but it's absolutely there. Oh, my goodness. Now, let me just say that for some of you, absolutely, this could be you. I want to be open, but I don't. I want to be open, but I don't. I'm constantly back and forth, right? You may be communicating with somebody. You may have been ready in the past to get things going. But, you know, you know this. You have to face your own truth. But I think that for those of you who are dealing with a person external to you, you knew this about them. You knew that that was the situation. The fear is that we can't get to the Ace of Cups, that new beginning, right? That new new love, new spiritual connection, emotionally fulfilling, right? All those good things with the Ace of Cups, that sucker is in reverse. It's not happening. It is not happening. The Nine of Cups, this is what you want. This is what you want, right? The problem is, is that you know the truth behind it. Now, with the Queen of Pentacles, you know, what I feel like here is looking at her, I think that for some of you, especially if you're dealing with the actions of another person here, you may be feeling insecure as far as, you know, what they're saying to you, what they're communicating to you, because there's this constant in and out, you know, and I, I feel like for some of you, you're trying to get a little bit more grounded, a little bit more in tune here, especially with the Ace of Cups looming over you. Like, it's there. I want that. That's what I want. But God damn it, why can't this person get their shit together? You know, now for some of you, this could be the other person. Like I said, you may be the one that's acting in and out. Because I kind of feel both, depending on whether we're male or female here. But then coming out, the Knight of Cups. What? What? Why? Like, I want to take that King of Cups and go, what the hell is wrong with you? You know? So there's definitely the offer of the cup right? The Knight of Cups being the messenger of love and romance. But again, you know, it's the in and out. It's the in and out. I, I don't feel like there's any kind of consistency when it comes to this person. They may be trying to present it to you again in a new way, but that is again why we're looking at the Four of Pentacles. They don't know where the hell they're at emotionally, or it could be you, right? But whoever it is that you're dealing with, things are not moving forward. Oh my goodness, right? In TikTok, like, I get it. Like, I, I understand now. Like, come on, right? Let's get with the program here. Time's wasting. <laughs> and then confidence. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Believe not just in your own inner power here, but your confidence. Don't allow this person to diminish your confidence, but then also have confidence in the fact that that Ace of Cups can be a reality if you so choose to believe that, right? And your belief is going to be your inner power here. You know, like I've always said, when it comes to beliefs, they're a fucking powerful thing, and that could be good or bad. You know, that's why you hear it's better to have ideas rather than beliefs, right? But if you have a strong enough belief, 
in yourself and belief in yourself to manifest the things that you want and you have confidence in that, then that becomes your inner power rather than a detriment to you. And then wondrous universe, walk in beauty. So, you know, if you want things to change, right, you're going to have to go through that transformation. But once you do, you get to walk in beauty and see the wonder of the universe. It's not bad. It's not bad. But after this experience, you know, things are going to change for you in a better way. You know, I think that you're going to feel better about yourself and not be so dependent on the response of another person. I think is the best way to put this.